Uh, I personally believe that had I passed out and become unconscious, uh, he may have killed me. This local Coweta County pastor thankful to be alive, he says, after he was attacked and beaten, left with stitches and fractured bones to his face. Pastor to Marcus Cook telling us this happened after he approached the man to ask why he was on the church's property. Well, now Coweta County authorities need your help finding that attacker. And as Fox 5's Carrie Charles reports, this pastor feels his attacker made a decision he might regret. I forgave him the moment he laid hands on me. Pastor Tamarcus Cook practices what he preaches, even when it comes to the man who left him with several stitches and fractured bones to the right side of his face. Pastor says the man towered and outweighed him. The gentleman grabbed me by my jacket lapel and headbutted me with everything he had. Uh, I personally believe that had I passed out and become unconscious, uh, he may have killed me. Cook leads St. Smyrna Baptist Church in Coweta County. He tells me he spotted a truck parked in the driveway of an old house next to the church on Wednesday afternoon. The church bought the property two years ago. We've had several incidents here uh, at this property since we've acquired it. Initially, it started out with people breaking into the property, taking out uh, whatever they could salvage. The pastor says he pulled his gun and fired several shots into the air. The man ran to his truck and drove away. I would honestly like for him to turn himself in, uh, turning himself in to uh, face responsibility uh, for such a cowardly act uh, would really speak volumes of his own character. Uh, perhaps he had a moment of misjudgment. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he was under the influence of drugs and, and made, a, made a decision that he himself would regret. The pastor says the plans are to level this home and turn this entire property into a parking lot. In fact, he says those plans will be expedited as a result of this incident. In Coweta County, Kerry Charles, Fox 5 News.